Hello everybody, this is Tanya from the Frugal Cafe. It is Sunday, July 17th, and I am coming at you today with my 10% off Dollar Tree haul. Um, I spent about $27, that was after the coupon, so I'm going to show you what I got. So I picked up nine of these Del Monte pineapple juice drinks. I finally found these at my Dollar Tree, although the one girl working there says she always has them, but they might have, I just probably didn't pay attention, so I got nine. <clears throat> and then I picked up a bottle of this fruit punch. Uh, it's 64 ounces, so that's a pretty good deal for 90 cents. I did find a few Fergie things. I'm these is for somebody for Christmas. This is the Wet and Wild um, nail polish. I thought that was kind of cute. And then I did find some lip glosses. I am keeping these. This is the A306 Global Fierceness. And then I got this one. This is A308 Runaway Runway Red. Excuse me. And then I got this one, A302 Flawless. So I was really shocked to see those hanging there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I picked up two of these Dr. Marvy Rescue Me um, for damaged nails. I thought I'd get one for me and my mother because, yeah, well, you guys know what my nails look like, but. She has a lot of trouble with her nails cracking all the time down the middle, so I thought I'd get that for her for 90 cents. Why not, you know? And then this is also for somebody for Christmas, so just a Lisa Frank nail polish kit. I thought that was really cute. And then my husband asked me to get him some more of these Lance Cracker sandwiches, so I got him these ones. And then I got him some of these ones. And some of these. And some of these. <clears throat> I picked me up one bag of the Werther's Caramel Apple Filled Hard Candies. I love these. I haven't had them for a while. And I got some more of these to throw in pocket letters. The Lifesavers. I picked up one bag of these Snyder's of Hanover Mini Pretzels. And then Lisa from Lisa's House has been hauling these forever. And I have never been able to find them. And I finally found them today. The... Original gourmet bite-sized wafers in vanilla cream. So hopefully they're as good as her husband says they are. So I got two bags of those. And then I picked up two more packs of hangers. You get eight in here. For I need some downstairs for my eBay stuff. And then I picked up two more of these packages of the bubble mailers. These are six by nine. So these are just for either friend mail or eBay stuff. I picked up two more of these Clark and Danver. Um, this is the apple scented, apple fields. The um, refill, I have the bottle in my downstairs bathroom. And I'm telling you what, guys, this stuff, I love it. I love the scent. And when it says it cleanses and moisturizes, they are so right. Because you know what? I have a ton of Bath and Body Works um, hand soaps, and I'm actually giving most of those to my best friend because they dry out my hands so bad and it makes me sad because I spent a lot of money on those and this stuff does not dry out my hands so and then I picked up one of the very delicious ones this time also so okay and then the last few things I got were some of these butter ring cookies I had bought I don't know if, if you watched my last Dollar General haul I picked up two containers of the Reese's peanut butter spread, which is so good, you guys. Um, and I thought maybe, you know, these cookies would go good with that spread. So, and then let's see, I picked up these bare naked butter peanut butter energy bars three pack. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I don't think I've ever had these, so I thought I'd try them for something healthy, hopefully, healthy. I don't know. And then the last two things I got was this Betty Crocker Ultimate Smoked Bacon and White Cheddar um, Mashed Potatoes. So I kind of like these sometimes just as a quick fix for a meal. And uh, yeah, so that is it, you guys. I thought I found some pretty good deals. I was worried I wasn't going to find much of anything today, to be honest with you, because I haven't been finding a whole lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I looked at all the school stuff. Not that I need to buy any back-to-school stuff, but, you know, I look anyways to see if there's anything I might want for myself or need. 
and I didn't see anything. Um, and then I looked in the stickers. They had no new stickers. I almost picked up, they had a couple packs of the planner stickers left, but I didn't pick them up. I just left them for somebody else. So, um, And there was no washi anywhere. Uh, yeah, I mean, and I forgot to buy garbage bags. See, I left my list at home, you guys. I only had a couple things on there anyways. I knew I'd forget something. I need the small garbage bags. I don't like the kitchen ones that I know a lot of you guys buy. I think they're crap. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to offend anybody that does like them or buys them. That's, you know, that's great. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys, you know, like them and use them or whatever. So, I just have not had much luck with them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. And you who. So, I hope you guys had a good weekend. We took the grandsons to Chuck E. Cheese today. It was kind of a flop because my oldest grandson did not want to eat. So, needless to say, we were not there very long. We ended up bringing most of our 45 tokens home that we bought. And then, <laughs> oh my, I left, um, we brought out a plate with three pieces of pizza on it, and I put it up on top of my car and so I could put my grandson in the car, and then I forgot to grab the pizza. So, and then I didn't realize it until, like, we were halfway back home because we had to go to Rockford to go to Chuck E. Cheese, so that's, like, you know, 25 minutes away from here, and um, I'm like, oh man, I'm like, I think I left the pizza on top of the of the car, you know, and I have a Jeep, so, and my husband's like, oh, maybe it's still there, I said, I doubt it, we were just on the interstate, are you kidding me, so, you know, it was not there, and <laughs> so that's my funny story for today, my husband is usually the one that does all that, <clears throat> He is notorious for leaving stuff on top of the car, especially when he has my car. And maybe it's just because it's taller, you know, I don't know. But, man, well, so that was kind of funny, I guess. But we were kind of bummed that we had to come home early. But we ended up coming back here and played out the backyard and whatever and got dirty, of course. So, And then I took my babies back to their mama and went to the Dollar Tree. So... And then we stopped, well, I stopped at Culver's and got dinner for me and my husband. So, if you don't have a Culver's by you, I'm so sorry. They are so good. It's a Midwestern thing for the most part. Uh, they make everything fresh to order and it's yummy, yummy. So, okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. So, um, I haven't been on YouTube at all today. I'm looking forward to seeing some other of you gals' hauls. I hope you found some good things at your Dollar Trees, and I hope you all have a good week if I don't talk to you again. I have to run to CVS now and uh, get some um, some more Tylenol arthritis pills. I am out, and I need some for my hands. So, and then I'm going to come back home and pack up some stuff I sold for eBay and see where the rest of the night takes me. So... Anyways, guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching this, and hello to my new subscribers or friends, whatever you want to say, and uh, thank you to everybody who has stuck by me and continues to watch my videos. So, all right, guys, take care and love you, and see you next time. Bye.